Let's talk SBCs. I'm going to be showing you guys the best SBC to complete in the game and a quick review of all the others. I used to do this, so if you want to see more of it, leave a like on the video, subscribe if you're new, and comment down below who is your favourite SBC that you've used so far this year. If you want the cheapest FC24 coins to get ahead of the competition, check out MMO EXP by clicking the link down below and use code JAMBU for 5% off. Okay, so I will let you guys know when we get to the SBC that is the title and thumbnail one, but we'll start off with, in my opinion, a terrible SBC. Some of you guys may disagree. The card definitely has its uses. Four star, four star. Uh, you know, it's going to be good on the ball. But no play styles instantly for me makes it basically redundant if you're serious about playing, you know, at a higher level. Uh, we then have Van der Sanden. This one's, this one's a bit better. Um, unfortunately, only a three star. Weak foot, five foot six. You know, good on the ball, quick. Passing's good. Really good strength as well. Uh, does have the rapid quick step and Traveller play style, but these ones, in my opinion, same with Fur, although this one's probably the best of the bunch, they're not great. But at the end of the day, they are only the Squad Foundations SBC, so I don't want to be too harsh to EA. Six foot two, four star weak foot, uh, really, really good physicals. Does have some good defensive play styles as well, the jockey, block, slide tackle. And the aerial one is super nice. Um, he'll actually be a beast in the air with 91 jumping and the aerial play style. So, you know, not too bad. We then have Leal. A lot of people have asked me about him. Really, really good card. Uh, does have the gold rapid plus play style, which is super, super good. As well as Flair, Trickster and Quick Step. This, is, this guy is one of the quickest cards in the whole game. Uh, six foot two, four star, four star. Obviously good in the air as well. I would recommend it if you can link him in. Um, there's some really good Serie A cards. You've got like Tamori, Teo Hernandez, for example. And that is one I would definitely look at doing. Uh, we then have Hyung Min Son. Super expensive, but this card, uh, just Son, you know, this year. Super, super good. And I will tell you why. So obviously... He's got the 5-star weak foot, which is great. 4-star skill moves. Insane stats all round, you know. He's quick. He's finishing. And just shooting in general is insane. His passing is amazing for a striker. Um, good on the ball. Physicals are okay as well. You know, great stamina there. But this gold playstyle plus, the finesse shot, it is insane. You can hit them from anywhere. I believe it's the same with Salah who has it. Um, I may be wrong there, but I'm pretty sure he does. But Son definitely has it. And you can just score. Because he has that five-star weak foot, you can just hit these finesse shots. They are absolutely insane. Does have rapid and quick step as well, meaning he's going to feel a lot quicker in-game. Here's one I would definitely recommend doing. Reminds me of the Son we had a few years back, his player of the month that everyone had. Uh, there was the Hazard one in FIFA 18 as well. And I think this one could go down a similar path. You do not want to miss out. We've then got Santiago Jimenez. Not really too much to talk about here. The card actually looks okay. But his play styles are not good. And, you know, good luck linking him into a team, basically. Uh, you know, it's one that you can pass on. This is a super underrated card. It is Kubo. Four star, four star. You can start him at cam striker or anywhere out on the right. He is so good on the ball. He's only five for eight. Super good acceleration and finishing. His passing's decent. He feels insane on the ball. Um, he does have that technical flair and first touch as well. He's just going to feel amazing when it comes to dribbling and making things happen. I've played against him a few times. If you're on a super cheap budget, this is like your cheap uh prime messy if you like so i would recommend getting him in there uh this is the new one that came out last night eugenie les soma now you start looking at this card and you're thinking this looks decent it has the five star weak foot the four star skills medium high which is weird um i personally am not a big believer in work rates at all so this wouldn't really bother me uh but then you look and you see that you can only start the card at striker and left wing and it's one of these really weird ones where if because this card only has 80 pace, 
if it had much better like passing, then you think, okay, like I could play this card at a cam maybe. But it's not a cam. Like it's a definite striker with the shooting stats and stuff. But then it doesn't really have the pace to play striker. It's a really strange card that just I struggle to see where you would fit it in. Um obviously, you know, with a hunter, you could probably get away with this card up front. But not if you're playing against someone good with good defenders. Has the power shot, technical, and first touch. And it's just a bit of a meh SBC, to be honest. We then have Declan Rice. I really like this one. If you play in like a 4 2 3 1 and want that anchor CDM, this guy is that guy. You know, decent enough pace. You know, for a CDM, that isn't too bad at all. Um, I've literally seen some people using like Rodri, Casemiro, and you can get away with that on this game. He's going to feel a bit stiff on the ball, but his passing is good. His defending is elite, and his physicals are great as well. And some great play styles. We've got the long ball. We have block, intercept, bruiser, which is one of the best ones for defenders. You can just morph towards the ball and win it. And then the gold play style plus press proven, which is pretty rare. Not many people have this. I know Grealish has it. And I think there's less than 10 players in the game that have this one. So it is super, super hard to get. He's going to be a beast. Um, and I've heard a lot of good things. So I would definitely recommend that one. Ismail Asar. Um, it's one of those, you know, if you need a quick winger uh, to just burn with pace, then it's going to be a decent card for sure. But nothing too crazy. Uh, this one, you know... Not a great card at all. This card actually does look decent. Four star, four star. You know, some great stats. As an attacking centre mid, I would definitely recommend it. Has a lot of really, really decent play styles there. And then we get on to the main page. I will quickly mention, uh, we do have Blanc, which in my opinion, one of the best centre-backs in the game right now. And I would recommend you guys go and do that, SBC. I've completed Beckham, not because you should, because you probably shouldn't. Uh, but I was just bored and felt like having him in the team. But with Blanc, I think that's one you actively should go and do. So, final page, Tuba Akpom, uh, you know... <sighs> Three star, three star. Great stats in some areas, but just another one of these sort of SBCs that no one is really fussed about. Madison's actually pretty good. Super cheap as well. And this Dead Ball Plus, uh, the gold play style, super, super good. I would recommend getting Madison in if you're on a cheaper budget. This is the guy from the title and the thumbnail. It is Rod Rigo. He's already good this year, and this card is insane, you know. Um, he's got that great pace, elite finishing, his passing's good, he's great on the ball. And then you're going to see the dead ball, technical, flair, gold on the first touch, and the quick step. He feels so, so smooth on the ball and quick in game. And some really good Real Madrid links as well. Uh, finally, we do have Bellerin, who, you know, if you need a, a cheap La Liga fullback... Definitely not too bad. He's one of the quicker ones in that league. But guys, hopefully you enjoyed. I will update with another one of these next week. But thank you so much for watching. I'll catch you on the next one. And peace.